we're not married. We are partnered up though. sometimes. <laughs> Depends what day of the week it is. <laughs> Fifteen, About 15 years. years. I was taught by my father, who played fiddle and a little rhythm guitar, so I always had to play rhythm guitar for him when he was fiddling. So that's how I learned. And I grew up with it ever since I was a kid. My um, One of my older brothers uh, played the fiddle and was uh, involved with the Quinnell Old Time Fiddlers. Um, and so from a young age, um, I actually started playing other instruments to accompany him. And then... Uh, one day we were jamming and I said, hey, can I try your fiddle? And he let me try it and it, the rest is history. She's still trying to learn. <sighs> we're two of a four piece band and we play all over the, you know, all over the region. We go down south and we, we play up north and all over the place. So, and our, our band is called Caribou Thunder. And, uh, and so we have myself and Amy and we also have a a steel guitar player and we have a bass player that plays with us so and we do we're primarily country and primarily dance music is what we what we sort band. of yeah that's kind of what we do we're, we're dance band yeah. yeah not not too much of this kind of music but we do play a lot of this music with the Métis group basically it wasn't until I got into my uh, early 20s, mid 20s, that I really started connecting with my Métis culture and my own heritage. And um, at that point, I went, man, I need to learn this song. Um, it's the Red River Jig. And how I learned it was actually from a um, fiddler from Nova Scotia, actually, uh, Gord Stoby is his name. Um, but the traditional way of playing it, you actually have to tune, retune your fiddle and tune your G string to a different note. Um, I'm a lazy fiddler, not gonna lie. So um, I got my buddy Gord to show me sort of a cheater version of it. The cool thing with the Red River Jig is no two fiddlers play it the same. Uh, my brother also plays fiddle and even though we come from the same gene pool, we both play it totally different. So um, it's one of those neat tunes that you can put your own little flavor yeah. on. One of the first ones we played was called The Firth of Clyde. Um, I had written that one, oh, probably 10 years ago. Um, I couldn't sleep one night, I just had notes going through my head and kind of went downstairs and out it came and I phoned my mom at about three o'clock in the morning. Mom, mom, listen to my song. She wasn't too appreciative of that. <laughs> Not at three o'clock. Phone me at six when I wake up, bye. So that was the first one. And then I'll let you tell about the other one. But The second one oh. we wrote in a cheap hotel room up in Prince George. We were playing up there and we had the night to kind of do nothing waiting for the next night to play and so we just started throwing some notes together and we put together that one and that's why we call it Taylor Made. It's not so sleazy when you say we did it in a hotel room. It was sleazy. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of tunes where I've just listened to it. I've heard someone play it and um, I've had them show me. Um, but I also am fortunate enough to read music. Yeah, both traditional, learned by ear and music. And for me, music is a universal language. Um, it speaks to everybody, young, old, in between. Um, and for me right now, like with all the, everything that's going on in the world, um, music has been a lifesaver. So yeah, um, we don't discourage anybody from no. picking up an instrument and trying yeah. to play or sing? Uh, my advice is do it. I think music is very, very good for the soul. I think it's excellent for uh, communal things like we do. We play a lot of music to people, to groups, to, and it's just wonderful. We played to, uh, you know, five or six hundred a few times, quite a few times, and we've played to two or three. And, uh, and I think it's, it's good for us, it's good for the folks that we play for. We, we do a lot of playing in old age homes, that kind of stuff, we do quite a bit of that. And it's just wonderful to see the smiles on their faces. Mm -hmm. And it's just throwing a little light at, at a dark 
place in their lives. It's, it's been wonderful in every way. And for me, I'd just like to say with um, everything, with the pandemic and everything, support your local musicians. Um, because, you know, a lot of musicians, that's their jobs. And a lot of them are starving right now. And you know what? It, it, it's a camaraderie thing. We miss performing. We miss, you know, misbehaving, if you will, in front of an audience. So, yeah, support. start supporting your local musicians again. They really need it. Oh, here we go. Do your medley. E. Oh, sorry, A. <laughs> here we go. This is typical for us. I'm pretty sure this is older than Mickey Mouse. Shoot. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 